Hi there, Lisa Casey here. We are on Google Calendar and here is how to customize your settings and um, make it a little bit more organized, hopefully. So if you're like me, you have a bunch of different calendars that you are subscribed to. These are calendars that you've created uh, that you have control over that are posting things onto your calendar. So like your personal one, appointment slots, um, you might, I have my personal email attached so I can remember my parents' anniversary. I've got my Google Classrooms here, anything else that I have created and added to our, my calendar, but that means that my calendar can get kind of cluttered. So if I decide I don't want to see certain things, I can uncheck that and my events go away. So I can change what I'm viewing. I can also unsubscribe. I don't wanna see my appointment slots or I don't wanna see my contacts. Right, I can remove things that I need to. Down here, I also have other calendars. So these are things that I am subscribed to that I'm not controlling or not posting things to. So this might be your school Google Classroom that you were a part of, or we have our holidays embedded here to keep track of our days off. And again, you can unsubscribe from those or you can unclick those. So if I have an old Google Classroom here, I might click this X so that I no longer see 2018's junior literature course because it's not going to post anything here and it just adds to my clutter on this side. If I come to these three dots, I can display only one calendar or change my colors and I can also edit some of my settings for this specific calendar. So for my school calendar, I've made it available for the school district to see but I don't want everybody to see all my personal details or when I'm in meetings with certain people. So I've got see only free or busy. So people are able to schedule meetings more easily with me this way. And then down here, I can personalize my event notifications and when I wanna receive a reminder that something's coming up. If I come up here to the, my general settings, I'm able to set my default event settings I'm able to change how I view my calendar. And then this working hours is really great because it helps to set that boundary between when is work time and when is uh, your free time. So you can enable working hours so that people can see if they write you at five o'clock in the evening, you're no longer at work, you are now only at home, right? So this just helps to establish those boundaries, especially as we move into our remote school year or the beginning of our remote school year. So those are a few tips on how to organize a little bit better your Google Calendar, and hopefully that will help you stay a little bit more organized. Thank you very much for watching.